Millhouse, open the window. Who are you? Jordan, you go to school with my brother. So just because of that, you're entitled to enter into my house. Who sent you here? Nobody sent me anywhere. I wanted a favor. I barely know you. What could I possibly do for you? Um, Millhouse, is it? I've been looking for somewhere to stay since I came back to Earth. Well, we can't all have what we want. Sir, I'm prepared to do housework and make food. The answer is still no. I'm not housing anyone I don't know. But she's got to have somewhere to stay, and we've tried everyone else. Hit the bricks. She doesn't have anywhere to go, and you won't even consider it? Jordan, calm down. You're just going to make him turn down my request more. Okay, fine. She can stay. She can? Yeah. Just don't fire any more beams. I feel like I haven't gone to class in 19 episodes. Did either of you notice that Jordan was gone this morning? Yeah. What do you think he was doing? I don't even want to imagine. I'm sure it wasn't that bad. Excuse me, I'm trying to conduct official classroom business. I don't need the three of you keeping up the chatter. They ought to get detention for messing up my education. And they ought to get detention for being siblings with people that blew the roof out of my house like a spoiled brat. What are you talking about? And who are you implicating? I'm sorry, my outburst was based on this dream I had about some strange characters invading my place of residence. I'd rather not talk about it. Then don't shout it out again. Mr. Dennis, may I be excused to collect myself in the hallway? Ah! Jeez, if that's how he spent his day in the limelight, well, I'd rather stay a background character. How was school? Horrible. I blurted out what that kid did last night. I might have tipped off his brother and his friends. That's bad for me. But don't worry. They won't do anything to you. I hope you're telling the truth. I don't know them that well. They could be killers for all I know. You sound very paranoid. I could have been a killer for all you know. How do you know I'm not? You're right. I don't. I should be wearing a bulletproof vest or something else to up my chances of survival. Just relax. That's relaxed. Can I help you? I was told a friend of mine was staying here. Lady, I barely know you. Not me. I'm talking about a young woman named Tai Lee. She's about 5'10", always wears a school uniform, and gets off on neglecting her responsibilities. Well, I, I tell you if I'd seen anything. You do that. I'm going back to my master. I'll let her know so we can check you off the list of people with ties to her faction. Have a good evening. I wouldn't be surprised if she came back and gutted me like a fish. She didn't say she would do that. You're being paranoid again. Well, if it isn't my favorite friend with yellow eyes. You have other friends with yellow eyes? Let's just say your first place position was a shoe in Anyway, I need a favor. Anything for you. Well, I'm touched. Garrett told us about his sparring match with you where you did this bear you move to look defensive. Yeah, Ava's dad taught it to me. Well, we were hoping you could teach that to a young man who's looking to boost his defensive abilities. Sure. Is it Gary? Oh, you. Oh, at least we have this taste for this arrangement in common. Now, I know one of you is a kidnapper and the other a kidnappy, but it never hurts to teach someone something you know how to do. Fine. First, you have to think about protecting yourself. 
So I just close my eyes and hope I don't get hit? No, the energies are tied to your mind. Watch me. That's the move Gary was talking about. I didn't know he talks about me to his friends. How come you put your arms out? You just saw me think about it before using it. Would you call the force of habit? Uh, huh. I'd call it a bad one. You can get killed if you don't know how to think before you act. You did it! Thanks. Um, hey. Can you do me a favor? I guess. Can you tell me about Gary? What's his favorite color? What kind of foods does he like? When does he go to bed? I, I think he goes to sleep around 9. I haven't stalked him enough to answer the rest. We can have a Q&A later. After we catch a movie. A movie? I came to learn a move and vanish. I came to teach a move and stay. Cheer up. And came all this way, traveling through large raptures of wind, and flying past many mysterious, potentially dangerous characters, just to teach you a move. She should get a medal. Oh, it was nothing. I guess you have a point. One movie won't hurt. Look on the bright side. At least you're not watching the movie with Tali. I will humbly ask that you do not mention that name around me. On that note, I'm going inside to get a seat. How come he doesn't want to hear her name? It's a tale of misunderstanding and rage. I'll let you in on it before you leave. Somebody keeps snoring really loudly. It's been going on for the last two or three nights. What do they sound like? A bear. What do they look like? They always wear a green jacket. I do not. Boy, you better explain why you didn't take a heavier coat with you outside. How about we get an explanation of where he's been going? That won't be necessary. And why not? We trust Jordan. Thanks, Papa. Where's Ava? In the bathroom. Jordan, can I tell you who I think your friend is? My friend? Whoa, how'd you know it was her? So the deal is, we only ever mention it when he gets older, or if he wants to fuse with that thing inside Tai Li. I'm trying to figure out how he even meets her. She was just this classmate of Justin's that had a problem, and somehow Jordan meets her and rips the demon out of her in a den. Let's just say I have an insight into the future. And listen, you have to promise me that you won't let her do anything bad without telling us, or convince you to do something bad. I promise, just don't tell Justin. He goes crazy when Ty Lee gets brought up. Of course I won't, but I don't think you can hide this from him forever. Ava, are you in there? Yes. I'd like to speak to you after you're out. Okay. About Jordan? Yes, how'd you know? When have you ever tried talking to me about anything else? I might venture into other things if you give me the right answers. Seriously? 
Jordan has a friend he doesn't want you to meet. And the rest of us know who it is, but won't tell you because we don't want to open up old wounds. Whoa, it's a bigger conspiracy than I thought. I can't believe everyone thinks I'm just going to go off from finding out who this is. Hey, don't lump me in with the rest of them. I told you something. You did, so what did you want to talk about? Lots of things. Are you going to be up for the next three hours? Can you calm down? That, that woman is going to come back and do something to me. I can feel it in my bones. Don't be so melodramatic. Now I know your favorite color, favorite shows, favorite movies, and that you thought about Jordan every 10 minutes when he was with me. That's information you're happy to have? Yeah. It humanizes you. I don't think we spent this much time together since we fought. Well, I'm happy that at least all this new time together isn't a rehash of the past. Hello? Yes, sir. I came here earlier as part of an investigation. I now have more suspicions about who's in your home and would like to search. Where's your warrant? I don't need one. You can go sit outside. I'm going to take my time. Get out of here! There's the traitor. I see you've taken to laying up in random people's houses. I'm not a random person. She may not have known me whatsoever before she began staying here, but I've always been prominent. I thought I told you to go outside. I know what's inside of you. Let him out. With pleasure. This is more like it. Thanks, kid. Don't thank him yet, evil woman. Just hold on. I'm going on the other side. Leslie! How do you know I was gonna be here? Thanks to me. I'll see you later, Lazuli. I'll never tolerate your wicked ways. Sure you won't. What kind of Pop-Tart do you want for tomorrow? Strawberry. Okay, I'll get a few of those from the market tonight. We better not catch you stealing any of them. This woman's way out of our league! She's been doing this for decades. What do you expect? But how are we gonna beat her? I'm less worried about her and more concerned about Katrina.
I'm less worried about how you're going to beat her and how you're going to keep my house from getting destroyed. Yeah. This house sharing thing isn't going to work. For what it's worth, you yourself weren't the problem. Yeah, but now I'm out of a house again. I guess we're going to have to relive the great falling out. What's that? What turned two best friends into distant strangers? Sounds interesting. I'll sleep on the roof today and say something to him tomorrow. Yeah, I hope I figure out where Jordan goes. He probably has some woman friend. He's four, and with those powers, he could have things that he shouldn't have already. Oh yeah, the boy showed me some of that magic he had, and I almost fainted. I said, what's going on here? I couldn't believe it either. Justin is worried about them? Yeah, he thinks he's going to get himself in trouble. Tell Justin to stop worrying and start looking. He needs to find Jordan and see if he's okay for himself instead of thinking about it. Justin, are you okay? I've been asking the same thing about you. I, you. You come back to Earth again after I spent all this time worrying about you just to start disappearing to God knows where throughout the day? I know, but I have this friend that's really worried about meeting you because of how you might act. Are they a bank robber? No. Do they like punching TVs? No. And your friend has no reason to think I won't like them. You spend a lot of time worrying for nothing. Who asked you? Katrina, baby! I've got some good news. Marauder found out where Tai Lee was staying. Great. Did she capture her? No. She said there were too many people for her to flight by herself. That sucks. I'll just have to reassign the task of capturing her to someone else. Let me capture her. You've got other things on your plate. Like serving as the primary teacher for the kids and doing the state patrolling. I don't want you overworking yourself. That's so sweet, Katrina. I didn't know you cared so much. Anyone who helps me is met with my concern. That's why I'm doing all of this. Not this again. Mr. Millhouse, I just wanted you to know, I'm really sorry that I broke your ceiling. And I've arranged for some guys to come over here and fix it. Wow, thanks. Do you forgive me? Yeah, sure. 